Let's take another example. Uh, the alpha, beta, gamma, this time are roots of a cubic equation given to you as x cubed plus qx plus r equals to 0. It's a more simplified form of our cubic equation because coefficient with x square is 0. Now we need to find out, we need to find out the expression which looks like summation b beta square plus gamma square upon beta plus gamma. Okay, so we need to figure out this solution. Uh, we need to figure out the value of this expression. Now the equation is such that the coefficient of x square is 0. So that means in general form, okay, b equals to 0. Now b equals to 0 would, act, would, would actually give me that the sum of the roots. When you look into the relationship between the roots and and uh, the equation, then alpha plus beta plus gamma equals to 0. So that gives me that I can write beta plus gamma as minus alpha. I can express any two roots in terms of one root. Okay. Now next what we of course have is that the summation alpha beta would equal to q and the product of the roots will equal to minus r, okay, minus d by a. Fine. So we need to find, this is given to us and what we need to find is the sum, summation, summation alpha square plus gamma square upon beta, sorry, beta square plus gamma square upon beta plus gamma. So let us consider let us consider the numerator which is beta square plus gamma square. What it exactly is, it is equal to beta plus gamma whole square minus 2 beta gamma, right? So I can write beta plus gamma in terms of alpha and that is why I wanted to first see how I can simplify it in terms of one, one root itself. So this becomes alpha square minus 2 beta gamma. So therefore, the complete sum, the complete summation will look like, the complete summation will look like this. I can just write alpha square minus 2 beta y in the numerator and beta plus gamma is in the uh, denominator, which I can write as minus alpha. So, we can break this summation into just divide each term by minus alpha and we will get minus summation alpha plus 2 summation beta gamma by alpha. Now, this summation we know is equal to 0. So, essentially our job is reduced to finding out the summation beta gamma by alpha twice of it. Okay. So, that's now what we have to find. Okay, we need to find this. So let us consider this. So twice of summation beta gamma by alpha. If I just open it up, it essentially means all the combinations of these three roots. So I have alpha beta by gamma plus beta gamma by alpha plus gamma alpha by beta. So, which means I can just take the LCM and what will I get? I will get alpha beta gamma in the denominator and I will get twice of, twice of alpha square beta square plus beta square gamma square plus gamma square alpha square in the numerator which essentially is my summation alpha square beta square by alpha beta gamma. Now alpha beta gamma is something that we know. The value of alpha beta gamma is something that we know and what we need to figure out is the value of alpha square beta square which essentially can come from which essentially can come from say alpha beta whole square. So summation of that will equal to alpha beta plus beta gamma plus uh, gamma alpha whole square minus 2 alpha beta gamma into alpha plus beta plus gamma. Okay. So from here what do we know? We know that this equals to this equals to
q square minus 0 because this term is 0. This is essentially I can write it as the square and from here I get the value because this is equal to q, so q square minus 0. So this is basically q square and hence the value that we had to figure out the value was summation alpha beta whole square upon alpha beta gamma equals to twice of q square upon minus r so i have the value minus 2 q square upon r and that will be the value of this symmetric function